right, guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles for another micro struggle. Today, I want to take just a couple minutes to show you why this utility function that I've got right here, which you commonly see in macro models, exhibits constant relative risk aversion. So let's just get right into it. So remember that constant relative risk aversion just means that if I take my Pratt arrow measure risk aversion, which is the ratio of the second derivative to the first derivative, and I multiply it by x, I should get a constant. So here's our utility function. And what I've done is I've just found the first derivative, and then I've just used the first derivative to find the second derivative. And now what I'm gonna do is I have my first and second derivative. So now I am going to find my relative risk aversion, where I just put the second derivative on top. I put the first derivative on the bottom. I multiply it by x. So notice that what's gonna happen is I have this guy right here. And if I'm dividing it by this guy right here, multiplying it by x, so then what I have is I have sigma x to the minus sigma over x to the minus sigma. These two cancel, and I just get sigma. And remember that sigma is just a constant. It's just a parameter of the problem. It's a value that we're given. And so because this is the only thing that we're left with, we now know for sure that this utility function exhibits constant relative risk aversion. The reason this is useful is that when you're plugging this utility function into a macro model, you instantly know their risk aversion, and so you don't have to go through and calculate it because you know that this utility function, because it's CRRA, then our risk aversion is just sigma. So hopefully this helps you just to be able to use it in your macro models without having to think about it. And maybe if your professor didn't explain why it's CRRA utility, now you know. And if there's another utility function that is CRRA that you want me to do, please put that in the comments below. Also comment below if you've got any questions or comments on the video generally. And again, if these videos are helping you out, please like and subscribe. See you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.